to the ring first from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing at 205 pounds, Grand Master B. Let's see, we've got Stevie B, we've got Grand Man. Interview. Her stable definitely has caused me a few sleepless nights here and there, but you know, life goes on. Therapy is working, you know, the medication, I, I've mixed it up a notch. Next step okay. for you is shock treatments, and then uh, I think not, that's what happened to the experiment. Well, and there's, I'm not ruling anything out at this point. He's terrorizing the fans across the way. I think it's time we beef up security. I, th I think it is time for a new commissioner in the ECPW. I would not want to place myself in the path of that experiment. He's likely to run you over and not even know it. Yeah. Lord Cult against Grandmaster B. Well, Grandmaster B apparently fancies himself as something of a homeboy. Well, quite frankly, he's going to wish he was home for this battle because I predict nothing but bad things for him as he faces Lord Cult. Lord Colt, remember a week ago, was calling out Jimmy Superfly Snooker. That's exactly right. In recent weeks, Lord Colt has uh, actually his nasty attitude has gotten nastier. It's no secret he's after Snooker big time. He wants that title shot. If I was Snooker, I'd be sleeping with one eye open. Absolutely. Well, let's be honest here, though, Paduski. You know, Jimmy Snooker, not exactly a spring chicken. He's seen it all in this last thing. You're not going to catch him napping. Lord Cull now takes over Grandmaster B with a headlock. And I can see from my vantage point, Grand, uh, Lord Cull really, you know, was giving a little verbal bad out there while he had him in that side headlock. Trying to get inside the mind of Grandmaster B. Probably doesn't take much. Oh! Lord Colt, an experienced wrestler. And look at that elbow right in the corner. Yeah, we talked about the clothes on the corner. What about the elbow in the corner? Because that's as effective. Grandmaster B gets whipped again. And again, this time he moves. And look at this. It's going to be the break he needs. One, two. Well, trying to surprise Lord Colt with an early roll-up. Sometimes it works. Most of the times it doesn't. Arm ringer. Trying to wrench that arm right out of the socket. Yeah, like we said earlier, Paduski, every now and then you will see an upset with a surprise pin attempt. You gotta go for it if you're Grandmaster B. I mean, quite frankly, he's probably the underdog in this bout. Undoubtedly, and if anything, the element of surprise should be in his favor. Absolutely. And that's an sure. arresting display there, nice show of agility. Nice kick by Grandmaster B. Oh, that's the throat, definitely. That was through the, to the throat. And a nice elbow. And a swing to that elbow, I like that. And he's got Lord Cult at a disadvantage right here. I was about to say that Lord Cult is a very well-known wrestler, and I'm sure that Grandmaster B knows what to expect. On the other hand, Lord Cult, first time against Grandmaster B. I don't know if he scouted him. But the element of surprise definitely absolutely will you know be a factor. Lord Colt isn't gonna win any bodybuilding contest. And despite what he looks like, you know, the guy can wrestle. We saw a nice suplex there. The guy does have the fundamentals of wrestling down, not to mention like all the psychological games he likes to play inside that square too with that look of his. Yes, not only has he got the fundamentals down, but also all of the fine points, including tying his man up into yeah, the tree of like this. <laughs> Look at that, he can do anything he wants right here. He's gonna go in with a series of knees right into the midsection. And this has gotta be squashing the wind right out of his opponent. 
And he's calling for Snooker. You heard him, Stevie B. He's beating on Grandmaster B, but I think all the while he sees Snooker in front of him. Yeah, that, that's nice and all. Yeah, call out the champion. You want the gold, but don't, you know, don't take your opponent too lightly. God forbid you lose this, lose this match. You're going to drop in the rankings very quickly. Lord Cull seems to be obsessed with getting his hands on the Superfly. Right now he's got his hands full, full of Grandmaster B, and he chucks him out through the through the ropes. Yeah, and there goes the experiment, pummeling Grandmaster B on the outside, and Steve Paradisio is over here having a nice little conversation with Lord Cull. This is definitely the turning, turning point in this bout. He took all kinds of punishment out, outside there, Grandmaster B did, and, and right now he's right for the pickings. Lord Cult. Oh, I like that pinning combo. Goes for a cover. <laughs> Two count only. Big boot. He's putting the boots to him now. You could just see it. I mean, Lord Cult is in a foul mood. He is, but you know, he doesn't really seem focused to me. I'll be honest here. You know he's thinking about smoke. You know he's thinking about championship gold. Don't get distracted inside that sports circle. That's probably rule number one in the realm of pro wrestling. That's day one of wrestling school. The most successful wrestlers, no doubt, are the ones that are most focused. You have yes. to maintain the focus. Yes. And a vicious elbow nice by elbow. Lord Cole. Nicely done. Yeah, that caught Grandmaster B right in the jaw. I think he's in serious trouble right now. Yeah, now, because he's a submission attempt here, Produsky. He might be going for a Boston Crab. Doesn't quite have it complete. He's got to step over with that right leg. Call it, Produsky. He's got him over. The Boston Crab. A submission hold. Talk about a move that titles have changed hands on. Let's see if Grandmaster B taps out. That was like a tap out to me. That was a tap out. I no, saw he's, he's going for the ropes and he made it. Ah, uh, referee. You blew the call, Paradiso. <laughs> Look at the experiment ringside. Kind of that goofy grin on his face. A, doesn't know what day of the week it is. B, doesn't realize where he is. C, he's just enjoying the match. Now he's hiding. Grandmaster B has got to be feeling the effects of that Boston Crab, even though he did get out of it by reaching for the ropes. Oh, what a devastating move the Boston Crab truly is. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot of strength or, you know, size or speed or anything. It's just a great... It bends the move, the, bo the body in the way it doesn't want to go. Check it out, Grandmaster B now mounts oh, he's firing back. back and a clothesline. I thought Lord Cult had him on the run. I thought for sure it was over. And Power he slam. And there it is. Ta ta, Grandmaster B. Lord Cult. Catching Grandmaster B off the ropes with a nicely executed power slam right into the pin. Stevie B. Lord Cull seems to be. Yeah, the situation isn't over, Kuduski. He won the match, but he, does he look like a happy wrestler to you? I don't think so. No. To me, to him, there's just another day at the office, another miserable nine to five effort. He wants bigger and better things, and, and frankly, it's in the form of Mr. Coconut himself, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Absolutely. You can hear him. Kuduski.